whiskey number Kilo Mike for Zulu November. Zulu, Zulu November station. Come back with a call sign phonetically, slowly. Slowly. Kilo Mike for Zulu November. Roger, Roger, and the name? And the name? The name is Melvin. Mike Echo Lima, Victor, India, November. Roger, Melvin, and whereabouts you be, sir? What's your location? We are located in northwest Tennessee, near Martin, Martin, Tennessee, uh, rural area. Uh, roger that, roger that. Uh, what radio are you running, sir? ICOM 7300 to uh, our uh, amp supply, LK 500 uh, uh, Zulu Charlie. Oh, roger that, roger that. Uh, well, uh, tell me about your antenna, sir. Sir. Yeah, Melvin, uh, tell me about your antenna, sir. No, sir. Okay, it's uh, quite a bit of QSB. Uh, the uh, antenna is a uh, G5 RV Junior at uh, about 30 feet from the ground. Um, coming straight out to uh, fed hor- horizontally. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, the legs are the, of the antenna are horizontal. It's a G5 RV Junior configuration. Uh, Roger that. Well, it looks like you're running about a 3 dB dynamic range, so you get some really fat audio going there, and the EQ uh, sounds like uh, it's uh, it's there also. So everything sounds good. Get the duct tape and, and the super glue and uh, uh, mark it, Roger. Roger. QSL. That's, yeah, we, uh, we've been working on it for a while to get it uh, as good as it could be. Just wish my antenna was up in the air. Um... Uh, it's just uh, not quite tall enough. But one of these days, I'll uh, planning on putting a tower up and uh, uh, at, at least uh, 60 feet, and uh, I think it'll uh, help my ears for sure. Yeah, uh, heard the call in, and uh, thought we'd take an opportunity to uh, get in here and see if we could uh, make a recording. And I uh, appreciate the comeback. I know there's a lot of people out here wishing to contact you, so uh, I won't hold you, sir. Thank you for uh, for what you do here. So uh, we'll uh, we'll look for that recording, as I've uh, noted. You uh, were telling previous operators. So seventy uh, threes, and and uh, it's good uh, talking with you this afternoon. And uh, thanks for the comeback. This is Kilo Mike for Zulu November. Roger, Roger, Melvin. Well, uh, on the height of the antenna, you know, uh, there's nothing that's moving uh, ground wave. It's all sky wave reflected. So uh, I'm saying that your height above average terrain is not necessarily that important. I think if you were at least uh, 30, uh, 25 to 35 feet, uh, I think uh, uh, things are, are pretty close to uh, to happening for you. And I think that if you went to 60 feet, you may not notice that much difference. Because, like I say, everything is uh, being reflected. So, it, you know, uh, uh, the high, you know, folks in, uh, in valleys... Uh, don't have much of a problem because they're, you know, uh, it's not like a UHF VHF where it's got you have to have uh, height to make right. You know, uh, HF, like I say, is uh, is all sky wave reflected. So, uh, you know, I think you'll be doing uh, probably about as well as uh, you know uh, can be expected. Uh, and uh, you know, you may not notice much difference if you get up 60, 90, or 100 feet. Roger. Roger. Roger that. Well, we're uh, we're learning. We're at the uh, the base of the of the learning uh, cycle and uh, uh, working our way up there. Roger. Roger, Roger. Now you know, uh, I spent my first uh, couple of years on ten meters as a technician.
and uh, I developed uh, two or three antennas specifically for 10 meters. One of the, the neat ones was a, a full wave uh, loop antenna. It's a 36 foot uh, uh, loop uh, on a PVC frame on the um, on the vertical side with a rotor underneath it. And it was only like, and it is, it's, I still use it, but it's only like 10 feet off the ground to the rotor. And then, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the loop goes on up from there. And uh, I was, at the time, working in California about every day with uh, 20 and 25 overs uh, from, from that loop. And the neat part about it was that uh, with the rotor, you know, you could rotate the, uh, the loop for maximum smoke. Although, you know, in, in other frequencies, it becomes uh, pretty much impractical. Uh, on uh, HF frequencies to be able to do that. But anyway, uh, I, the other part I wanted to mention to you was that uh, I never really took down an antenna once it was up. I always, uh, I'm lucky enough to have a, a six position rotary switch and I would leave my first antenna and uh, then, uh, you know, I built my second antenna, and it would be on the rotor. An amazing thing about a rotor is that you can check the, the uh, capability of six antennas within about a second. I mean, you can just, rather the rotor, you can just, throop, throop, you know, roll through them like that, and you can tell precisely what each uh, antenna is doing. So, uh, you know, you've heard of the A-B test. Well, this is an A, B, C, D, E, F test and you can see immediately that your new antenna is working much better or uh, even or not as good you know with uh, being able to is provided that you keep your old antenna uh, after you have your new antenna built Roger 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 that well that's uh that's good to know. Uh, appreciate the uh, information there. Sure do. And uh, well, we'll, uh, we'll let you go. And I'm going to get off the scope here. So uh, we appreciate you come back. And you have a good afternoon. It's good talking with you. KM4ZN. Roger, roger. Three set way, sir. Have a good afternoon and a good evening. This is KC9 VKV and the QSO Vlog program. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. We are recording KC9 VKV.